So I'm standing out at one of the most famous squares in Karlovac. It's this thing. I still don't know what this is. If anybody knows what this is, leave it down in the comments. But look at the beautiful church. You can still see the bullet holes are in the church. So the, from the war, again, scars from the war. And you got the six pointed star that symbolizes the city and where it's from. The origins of the city. The six pointed star is the origins of the city. Let's get a little closer look at this. Uh, it gives you free water so you can put some water and there's a there's a church man right there and you can see all the see the white marks here look at the beautiful church yeah the church is of Karlovac and you can see that it's still littered with bullet holes this church this beautiful church and that's the reality that's a harsh reality this is Karlovac you know this is Karlovac this is a lot of um northern inland towns of Croatia still remnants of war still relevant like you know yeah it's crazy isn't it and they got a camera so that's it and now we're going to um we're going to the war museum actually today this is Bonjo I forgot to say that this is Bonjo we're going to the war museum and we're gonna go check out the war museum Hello. and uh, there's a little a monk? I don't even know what those guys are. A guy in a dress, a cloak, Harry Potter cloak. But they pray a lot. Which is fine. Look at the street so it's pretty cool, huh? This one's a newer building. They fixed up all the bullet holes, painted it. No paint falling out. But the church needs a little work. But hey, that's life. So let's go to the war museum. Stepanja Radovica is the most famous street here. It's like downtown. That's where all the stuff happens. That's where the that's where the Danny Piva festival is down that way. And this is the street. This is what we're looking at. I mean, it's no Zagreb, but it's still beautiful. You gotta like the old communist style building. They even come authenticated with bullet holes. Sad, sad, sad history, yeah? Yeah, being from Canada, where honestly, you never realize how lucky you are. Because when was our last war? When we whooped the state's ass in 1812? You know what I mean? Nobody's coming to our country and trying to off us or nothing, you know? And here, remnants of war is pretty relevant to this day. That happened more than 30 years ago. So I can imagine what's going to happen and how life is going to be affected in the Ukraine by the Russians. It says danger, fallen bricks probably. Uh, the doors don't really open too much. Yeah, the doors don't open. But here's what it looks like inside, look at all that. It must be because there's so much garbage in there. And there's another example of a house where someone used to live it is now in ruins. It's crazy. Look at all the plants down there. This place gets flooded a lot on rain season because there's lots of rivers and there's lots of rain. So sometimes these towns flood. And hey, look at this makeshift dock here with these retaining wall steps. Classic Northern Croatian construction. Say you're Croatian without saying you're Croatian, you know? Here they are, more, more rowers. Cool, right? Now let's carry on to our journey. Yes. Who have 
Do you, can you explain it on camera? No. No. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. I'm gonna try to explain it my best. <laughs> We don't have opportunity yeah. to speak English uh, <laughs> yeah, all the time and but you're good. English is so bad. Uh, you're good at English though. <laughs> I'm better in Italian. <laughs> oh, oh, you're, you speak oh. Italian too. <laughs> it's easier for me. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Okay, bye. So, she was just explaining to me that all these pyramids were roadblocks to stop the tanks from the Serbian army in the war. And every every name on here is it like a different battalion uh, of the army there's one that's just strangers like people don't know who they are they just helped the army out and they planted each tree to remember so i guess the lives carry on whoever lost their lives they planted a tree for each for each uh, battalion so that's pretty cool and there's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty there's at least 40, 50 of them. So that's amazing. So this is a memorial site along the Corona River. You can catch it be between the Corona River and this underpass here. And you can catch all these little, little memorial sites. This one's Zagreb, see? 99 Zagreb Brigada. Yeah, the brigades, different brigades. Different big brigades, battalions. Uh, I don't know the war lingo, you know? But here's a brigade here, Krapina. And they planted a tree. I mean, the Zagreb one, the tree's dead. I don't know if that's a good sign. But this one is full of life. Look how big this one's growing. And then you got the Verazdin, Verazdin one. Yeah, so they all indicate probably a city of where these guys are from, like Travoglave, Zagreb, Verazdin, another Zagreb one. And that's what those mean. Those are the... the Stones in the roadway to block the tanks from the Serbian army that attacked them in the 90s for trying to claim their freedom. And that's it. It's beautiful. A beautiful little site here. The Corona River. Now here's the Croatian flag with the six-pointed star with the little memorial which tells you the police, the postala, all the people, all the brigades, I think, and the battalions. And here we are brigade here's a better picture of them all but i think they put up more stones than what they show on this site here because as you look i counted 30 back there and there's still at least another 10 15 here so but we got to walk this way so let's check them out eh? some of these trees are really grown some of them aren't growing at all maybe they bonia bonia Travaglava. no that's Karlovac. Karlovac, see they got a whole bunch of them. One's a stranger. I gotta find the stranger one. I think that was the stranger one. The one big one. Uh, because they didn't have to they didn't have to help and they helped, so that's beautiful. They respect them and always remember them for their super kindness. So this one is the foreign volunteers that helped. And this one is all their names. Guy from Austria, Austria, Belgium, Canada, Czech Republic, Denmark, England, Lampard John, unknown English soldier, unknown English soldier, English, unknown Estonia, yeah, France, lots of them, man, eh? even a German, Gambia, lots of people, lots of people, the Netherlands, United States, Ukraine. Portugal, Scotland, Poland, Italy, lots of them. Arnold Van Bastinger, the Canadian's name is Eric de Tommaso. So, the Canadian, Eric de Tommaso. What a hero. All those guys are heroes from different countries that stepped in and helped a country in need of help. That's beautiful. That Now, that's beautiful. These are more brigade logos and all the names another memorial site along this path as well in front of this beautiful cornfield and this little quiet quaint neighborhood in Karlovac. now let's go to the war museum we're almost there it's about an hour walk from my hotel which is hotel avida studio apart money actually it's not a hotel 
and so as you can see another one and they have them all the way down until they run out of names to appreciate and it's beautiful this one's the number three with the pine martin pine martins will eat your cats fun information in front of this beautiful cornfield and there it is the scarecrow made out of rubber tires see recycle your tires down in Karlovac. In 1989, the Berlin Wall came down. That was a symbol for Europe, a new Europe. So the socialist country of Yugoslavia, which was led by Slobodan Milosevic of the Central Committee of the Communists of Serbia, gradually started making an unequal position of Serbia again. So he took all the people that were Serbians I was going to create a greater Serbia and that's how the war began. That's when Tranjo Tuzman started to pull away from Yugoslavia and free Croatia and gave them their independence. After the war, Slobodan Milosevic would be convicted of war crimes amongst other, one, other Serbian leaders. Even the ones that got away years later, they just recently caught someone. Slobodan Milosevic would die in prison where he belonged and what he should have done was just died, not even given a prison sentence. That's how I feel. So when Croatia declared their independence, they expected Bosnia be a part here so you got Velika Serbia, the greater Serbia. In 1990 there was a whole bunch of anti-Croatian slogans made by the Serbian party of Krajina which was led by Ian Babic and Dr. Jovan, Jovan Rašković. So it's pretty serious. And here's a lot of them. Look at this. That's a Serbian sign there and Cyrilica. On July 1990, amendments from the Constitution of the Socialist Republic of Croatia were adopted, removing the adjective socialist from the name of the state and establishing the new coat of arms and flag on the same day at the Serb rally in the town of Serb. A declaration was on the sovereignty of the anatomy of Serbs in Croatia was adopted. The Serbian parliament was constituted as the political representative body of the Serbian people in Croatia. Crazy, huh? And if you want, you can screenshot the rest and read it on your own. So these are bank notes, checkbooks, ID, and some sort of flag. In 1991, the Croatian parliament Recognize the sovereignty and the independence of Croatia. So what you're seeing here is a grenade and bomb fragments and bullets that fell all over Karlovac. The kind of bombs, the grenades, the missiles, everything. Pretty crazy, look at them. These were all found after the war. Pieces of bombs. And here we have a whole bunch of puzzles. You can turn it, make different coat of arms, the Croatian shield, the flag, and then you got this one. I just sold the two, I'm not gonna sell the other one. Look at all the weaponry that was used here. Look at this, whoa. It's crazy, look at this one. 
flamethrower. Can you believe that? A flamethrower. Is that what it is? A bazooka. Who knows what that thing is? Rocket launcher. Wow. I couldn't even imagine the people, what the people went through in this town. It's crazy. And they give you all these realistic sounds of what was going on. You hear all the gunshots and stuff that was like rapid going on for like five years straight. Here's the documents from the war, the Croatian documents, probably the medics, the public of Hrvatska. You can hear them bombs and everything with them. Look at all the guns that were used. Looks like an MP40 from Call of Duty. Look at this. Samo Zapashu 411-91 So That's the war of the date the gun was used The date of the war, I mean Here's all the, look at this one You got it? Look at that, wow This is what the Serbians used Franjo Tuzman's army wasn't even allowed or had or were equipped with guns. They had to sneak them through the country with civilians and all that kind of stuff. So Franjo Tuzman was a huge helping hand in why they won. They got different people to sneak guns in from Russia, from Germany, from everywhere across Europe into Croatia so they could actually stand a chance and fight back against the evil Chetniks of Serbia. So this is an evil scumbag Chetnik hat. Chetniks use these. Dirty Chetniks. Policia. This is ID cards of the Serbians. The old notes. Everything. A rifle. You got a magazine. And you got the flag. Bye bye. Serbia, bye bye, Slobodan Milosevic. Rest in peace, Slobodan. Here are the five heroes of Karlovac. These are the heroes. Darko Lipak, Miroslav Kar, Zdravko Kurtan, Dubravko Zeljakovic. And that's them. So this is the memorial room. This is all the people that passed away in this room. They have all the names with roses and pictures of them. And I don't know if you guys can catch it on video. But there it is. Drago Sankovic, Ivan Choraga, Miroslav Sipcic, Damir Burkovic, Tomica Belyavic. And yes, this is the memorial. Very sad stuff. War is no good for anybody. So there's people here, so I started off on the end of the tour here with the tanks because I don't want people interfering. But these are all the tanks used. You can see the remnants of a broken building behind us there. It's all crushed from war. Here's a tank. This is a T-55. Look at all the different kinds of tanks. This one is a M4A3 Sherman tank. Look at all these, huh? It's crazy. You guys definitely come to Karlovac. You gotta do this. This is crazy. 
self-propelled gun M36 Jackson. Here's the anti-tank gun M18 Hellcat. This is the Hellcat here. M18 Hellcat. Look at this crazy looking one. Wow. This is a ferry, a GSP uh, uh, amphibious ferry unit. Crazy. Guess it goes on water. Wow, and there's the, the MiG airplane. And then you got the 2A13 anti aircraft gun. Then you got another anti aircraft gun, the M38 anti aircraft. Then you got the Howitzer M2 203mm. And you got another broken building here. So this tour is amazing. Inside, you'll learn a lot. If you're willing to sit down and read, you will learn a lot here. So what we're looking at here is the remains of a fighter aircraft from the Yugoslavian war. Look how much damage it, oh wow. It consumed a lot of damage and they salvaged this to put this on display. That's amazing. And behind you got the one taking off this one going down, the MiG going up, taking off, and ready to go to combat with all the anti-aircraft guns and everything behind it. Absolutely insane. But this is my time at the War Museum. It was amazing. I loved it. I would come here again. I'd love to take Mickey and the kids here next time. Well, not the kids. Not cracking. <laughs> I always call them the kids. But uh, I'd love to take Enzo here and get him a little knowledge about his new country of Croatia, his roots get in touch with the roots and the history of this beautiful place and all the beautiful people here. Croatia, we love you. Karlovac, we love you. What heroes. This is the Bonjo Show. This is not your show. We have traded the 905 for G-O-O-Bo. This is Bonjo Show.